hello everyone in this video i will demonstrate how to create a simple store procedure that will update a record in the database table so let's get started here so uh, we have a table called customer and if you execute this command you'll see that we have a record uh, for customer number 260 and uh, the customer name is uh, brookings direct Let's say I want to create a store procedure that, you know, uh, whereby you will supply the customer number and the name that you want to change to and the procedure will go ahead and update that uh, record. So in this case, we want to update, let's say Brookings direct to uh, Brookings family store. So let's get started here. I'll open another worksheet. This is, this is highly recommended. I don't want to do anything here. Uh, in fact, I can close this one. I don't need this one anymore here. Okay, so this is where I'll be working for. Okay, so as uh, you may know from my last video, we have three sections. I want to leave, leave this comments here because these are very useful comments, okay? So we know that we have three sections. So I will say, okay, uh, Create or replace procedure, and uh, I want to make sure that this comments will be stored, will be stored with the procedure. So I want to make sure they're inside the procedure, okay? Because these are helpful hints. Uh, and then begin and end, okay? So these are the three sections we need to mention here when we are defining a procedure. So we want to create a procedure, we have to give a procedure name. Let's say we want to give it a name called change, change cost name. And this procedure will take two arguments. One is I underscore cost underscore num it's uh, going into our procedure uh, will be used by our procedure to update the customer name so it's going to be in parameter and then the data type should be customer dot customer number percent type so basically this means that, you know, um, this variable here will have the same data type as the data type of customer number in my customer table. And that's the way you represent that customer dot customer num, um, customer dot customer underscore num percent type. And it's an in because it will be used by our procedure. Okay, we will not get anything out of this procedure in terms of uh arguments okay so uh then the second parameter or argument that we need to supply here is the customer name so i will say i underscore cust underscore name that's the name i want to i want to update so <coughs> it's an in parameter here so again customer dot customer name percent type Okay, and as, so this is the sort of a definition of our procedure, okay, as. Okay, so we want to change the customer, uh, name of the customer whose the name is stored in I customer num, I custom num, I would say, okay. And to a value correctly stored in I cust name, okay. So uh, these are the three ways you can execute the procedure. Um, you know, right click on the sort procedure or open a new worksheet and type in this command and we'll go through it, okay? Begin here. Here, <coughs> we need to simply mention an update statement. So we'll say update, update uh, customer set customer underscore name to i underscore cost underscore name where customer underscore number equals i underscore 
podcast underscore number. And that's pretty much it, okay? So I want to update the customer table and set the customer name to my customer name here for the customer number where customer number equals this one here, okay? And that's <coughs> as simple as that. So here uh, I would like to show a message. So I will say, uh, Dear BMS underscore output dot put underscore line, and I will say uh, customer record fully updated for customer number customer number let's uh, concatenate this with my variable which is i underscore cost underscore now okay so this will show me a message okay saying that okay this customer has been updated and this is uh, pretty much it that's all you have to do now when you execute this command here it will compile this uh, procedure okay and i will run this one you say uh, this uh, uh, procedure has compiled and if you refresh this one here you'll see this procedure here so uh, i don't need this worksheet anymore because this is already stored so i will close this one uh, please see this carefully don't try to uh, do anything here um, I don't want to say save no changes because uh, this is already there. If you click here, the store procedure, uh, you have stored that object in the in the you know server. So basically, you have this available all the time. Okay, so I don't need to do that. So you can see the change in icon here as well. Now let's go ahead and open a new worksheet. Okay. Okay, my local user. That's a user I want to use. And let's I will say here. Select a uh, star from customer just to see what I have here. Command, I mean, uh, <coughs> control enter. And this, let's say, I want to update this one to Brookings family store. So I would simply call the procedure uh, by executing, ex execute, uh, let's say, change cost name and I want to pass on my values to say 260 is the customer number I want to change the name uh, to let's say Brookings uh, uh, hold on Brookings family store okay and that should be it. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is sometimes when you execute this one, you might not see any output. Uh, and I will demonstrate that hopefully. Let's see here, I will say command enter. Okay, sometimes you will not see output like we have that statement defined, right? Now we are seeing it here. Sometimes you might not see it on your screen. So for that, you have to make sure that you execute this command. Okay, set, set, put on. Okay, and when you do that, you know you you have to just uh, come here, control enter, or highlight this one, and run. Okay, either way, it will not show anything on the screen, but it will enable the output on the console. So when you execute this one, you know, it will show the thing. And when you select the star from customer or let's say execute as a statement, not as a script, okay? So you see that name has been changed, okay? This is, we did not put any commit statement in our uh, PLS curl um, procedure. So we can issue the role back here. 
if you want to undo the changes okay so control enter here rollback complete so if you execute this one again you will not see those changes okay that's something to keep in mind and you know other ways there are other ways to execute the command as well for example uh, instead of this one what you can do here is you can define an anonymous block by just calling begin and then let's delete this one and then just calling <coughs> and and this will do as well the second way so let's say 126 i want to change 126 to toys oracle to no, toys sql server okay toys sql server <coughs> so i will just highlight this one and run okay so it has been changed so let's go ahead and highlight this one and run this one see, see it has been changed so i can issue the roll back here okay so roll back complete okay so i just uh, undid uh, those changes here and the third way to execute as you are aware of it is you know just click on this one here and you can run here and uh, make changes here okay so for example you know uh, what was the name here let me see uh, let's say we want to change it to 713 uh, crest store to crest family store okay 713 so i will click on the run icon here and you can ch make changes here or here so same thing i i think this is easier here okay so we know that 713 i want to change 713 to uh let's see okay uh, cancel here 713 to crest family store 713 713 to Press family store okay and say okay here okay okay say okay here okay so customer records successfully updated for customer number 713 so if you go back here and execute this command 73 has been updated okay so this is another way to update uh, to run your store procedure okay so with this i will end my video here thank you very much for watching